Hey everybody, it's Craig. So I have two, two pouring systems and I want to show you how they, uh, you want to line up the crucible so that it pours directly in the hole. So the first thing, these posts, you never adjust them. They're permanent. Uh, they are set so that they fit properly with the crucibles. Um, what you need to do First thing is, you need to find your center here. And that center should be lined up with the pour spout. Once you have that figured out, the next thing, make sure there's nothing in here so that it doesn't drop down into your hole before you do the pouring. You wanna check this and you wanna make sure that the, the edge of the crucible is lined up with the back edge of the pouring hole. Now, you can be a little bit behind, but you don't want the crucible to be a little bit in front of that back edge of the uh, pouring hole. Okay, so you'll also notice that uh, I used to sell these that had a round hole. And so when I got my own mill, I changed it from the round hole to the square hole, but it works the same. So. Um, it doesn't matter if it's round or square. So we'll move this out of the way. And then we'll come over here to the AccuPore. Now this one, you don't have as much leeway here as, as much as you can uh, move the flask back and forth. Uh, and again, these four posts are permanent. You don't touch those. So what you wanna do is of course you can unscrew this and you can center that so that it's centered between there. And then the next thing you do is you'd lift that up. And just like before, you're going to take and check the edge of the crucible and make sure it is uh, right at the back of the pouring hole uh, or a little even behind that. But you don't want it forward of that. Uh, one of the great things about this flask design is that I made it with a thicker side and a narrower side, so you could always turn it around. Uh, it's not going to ma make any difference in how it casts. So you turn it around, and then you'd have maybe a greater chance of keeping this uh, either flush with the back of the pouring hole or just behind it. Uh, but that's how that all works, so I just wanted to let you guys know that so that you completely understand. All right, thank you.